to start this video off with the Zodiac d double take because I'm lazy. Wait, did I even... Okay, yeah, I believe I did read the 24th. Did I? Screw it. I, I don't know if I did the, the 24th, so I'll just read three of them. Mercury is at the final degree of your skin. and asks that you mull over recent hurts before he moves. The sun is already in your fin finances and value sector, which indicates that you may get a new lease, on li lease of life for your home or a boost in finances. Be bold as you move forward. That was Wednesday. This is, thanks this is Thursday. This was Thanksgiving's Scorpio Zodiac. A strong moon in your carrier, career. God, I'm sorry that sometimes I can't speak. Sector gets you back on your feet to deal with adulting and responsibility. Mars in Mars in your sign is connecting well to Venus. I think what it is is sometimes my brain will s put words differently to make it more sensible to me. I'm also just crazy. Which is can signify a... God, again, I used to be able to see these. Reconcilia reconciliation, there it is. Or simply getting what you desire. I think it's also with some of these words. You say them, but you never see how they're spelled. Step up and ask for something. A pay rise, even. Just don't get greedy. Oh, yeah, that'd be all good in my office. I mean, at my job. I mean, for God's sake, we're losing employees because of this COVID crap. I mean, our positivity went up to 14%. So why I have to wear a piece of plastic again over my face? So yeah, let me ask for a freaking raise. Friday the 20th today. Uh, the fiery moon opposes Jupiter today. You may find that a person in authority will challenge you. That's never happened to me before. Speak your truth, for Jupiter can represent the law and changing fortunes. Deeper truths are waiting to be discovered, so set your sights on them. Move forward on the path you are destined for. Okay, now that that's out of the way. Black Friday Battle Royal. You're in North Carolina, from what I've heard, seen from another video with Jeff Hardy, that he was in his hometown with a pop. You have a golden chance, because people have been begging for Jeff Hardy to get a title shot. Who do you give it to in North Carolina? Sami Zayn. Yeah, I don't see how this match could go any better. Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns for the inter for the universal title? Yeah, I can't, I can't see that. I can definitely see this match going in Sami's favor. What the? Why? Why Sami Zayn? No disrespect to Sami Zayn, but... Can uh, even the biggest Sami Zayn? Can you look at me in this? Look me straight in the eyes and say that Sami Zayn has a freaking chance at beating Roman Reigns. Look me in the eye and say it. If you did, you're a lying sack of crap. Sami has no chance in this match. If this this match better be on SmackDown. The fact that the 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 idea that someone might have to pay for that match is utterly disrespectful. That they might have to pay for to see Sami Zayn get his ass kicked. I will, I'm not even gonna say that this match is gonna go over ten minutes. This match is gonna be less than ten minutes at best, maybe five. They this is another instance of protecting Roman Reigns. Because they gave it to like someone like Drew McIntyre, who at least would have a chance. Even Jeff freaking Hardy would have a chance at beating Roman Reigns. But Sami Zayn, with the character he's doing, no. Also, this is a legit question. When is the last time we had a triple threat for that Universal Title? I think it's when Roman freaking won the belt. It's. Whatever that pay-per-view was, I think it was Backlash. It was Roman versus Braun versus The Fiend. Roman against two guys that aren't even in the company anymore. Or when was the last time we had a fatal four-way where something unpredictable can happen? The champion not getting pinned to get the title changing hands. That's what made fatal four-ways and triple threats so interesting that the champion didn't need to be pinned to lose the title. Oh, but wait, that would take... That would be not the best interest for Roman Reigns, wouldn't it? I remember recently I saw a poll. Actually, this is a guy that I am gonna I am gonna love seeing on SmackDown. I haven't watched an episode of SmackDown fully in a long time. I think before 
True lot. I think I watched an episode or two during shutdown. I think when Retribution still looked impressive. So yeah. Rich Holland. The guy who wears a cap like this. I'm looking so forward to seeing that guy on SmackDown. I'm interested to see where his thing is going with Sheamus. I personally think Rich could go at it as a, go at it on his own, not needing Sheamus. I also think he should have stayed in NXT and his little alliance with Pete Dunne. But hey, this dude is a legit bad. He's a freaking rug, former rugby player. Those are some of the toughest sons up you can find on earth. So obviously he will be jobbed out for a couple months and then be fired. Because he actually, in regards of toughness... Rich Holland is a legitimate threat to that title. I don't care, man. You can say anything. Rich Holland being with a rugby background, Rich Holland is a legit threat. And I truly believe he is the next big thing. So, of course, he'll be released. Because anyone the WWE fans think is the next big thing, or the next big draw, or the next big main event talent, they're fired to make room for more zeros on Roman Reigns' check. Oh, and uh, let's address this and let's try to talk about this. Uh, Zia Lee getting a new gimmick seems like the Guardian or the Protector or something like that. It's uh, this martial arts master who can't feel pain. Like she had an NXT for a while. Don't get hyped up, people. <laughs> Just don't get hyped up. If she's on SmackDown, she's screwed. Because Charlotte's there with her golden shovel. I just, you can't get hyped for anyone. You can't. Anyone from NXT that gets called up, they'll be they'll be either given a stupid gimmick or be fired. Any new talent, screwed or be fired. I hate it. I just hate it. I don't know, man. I just am gonna be so happy when they when. I'm probably 75 years old and about to die and they finally take the title off Roman Reigns. No matter, jokes aside, I, I truly... Roman Reigns, while he is impressive, I truly think he's coming close... I think after he breaks Brock Lesnar's record of 504 days, I believe. I think after that, he holds it for like a month or so more to become the longest reigning universal after he becomes the longest reigning champion in universal title history, which is not that impressive actually when you look at who's held that freaking belt. Well, it kind of is impressive, but also kind of isn't. The universal title is just being a curse. When he breaks that record, I think it should be the right time to take it off him. But again, the Bruno San Martino nightmare still is a thing in my mind. <laughs> I don't want that. No one wants Roman Reigns as champion for eight years. God forbid a combined 13, because that's how long Bruno San Martino held the title twice. Also, just think about that. Combine all of John Cena's title reigns, all of Triple H's title reigns, hell, even all of Roman Reigns' title reigns. Bruno San Martino not just beats him in his one reign... I feel like there's a loose hair or something. He shatters them in his two. 13 years in a collective two reigns as world champion. And yes, I know it was different back in his era of wrestling. There was companies everywhere. And you didn't, weren't, you didn't wrestle at this schedule. But it's still incredibly impressive to hold a championship for eight freaking years. And then for another, what, five Yeah, I, the fact that I had to do that math in my head proves how stupid I'm getting. Anyway, um, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I swear to God, I want to get back to these being a daily thing. I don't know what is going on, man. And I'm sorry. I don't like these catch-ups. I, honest to God, don't like the catch-ups. Anyway, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Oh, one quick thing. I hope you enjoyed those, um, if you watched them, at least, and weren't completely bored, which is with how they turned out. Hope you enjoyed those two videos with my family for Thanksgiving, because more chaos will be coming back on Christmas. Well, not Christmas Day, but around Christmas time. 
Also, get ready to see. I love. I always love that I do this. I say see you later, then I talk for another few seconds or minutes. I'll get ready for a few every the month of December with the. You can't see it. Let me with that uh, Colts Christmas hat. I'll be wearing that for all of December while I talk about videos, and I'm gonna try to have every video be about Christmas. So get ready to hate me. The 25 days of Christmas. For me. So, 25 days of reviewing Christmas movies, Christmas specials. Basically, if it has to do with Christmas, I will talk about it. Finally, and pro pro I promise this time, see ya.